Hey, how you doing? It's Eric over at SoCal Cigars. Uh, just wanted to throw this together real quick. This is a video I had never really thought of, but a buddy of mine emailed me yesterday and he asked me for my opinion on a uh, cigar to recommend for his wife to try. And uh, the only direction was really uh, to have a more genteel cigar. So I had to sort of sit up for a minute and think about what does that look like? What's that mean? Um, and I, I think it makes you start thinking about the whole, like, you know, men and women in cigars. And, and what's that look like? Uh, I think we all, like most things, you can just go off your own life experience. And mine is that primarily I'm around guys that are smoking cigars. Obviously, there are women that are smoking too. I'm around women that smoke them too. My sister-in-law is an avid cigar smoker. She smokes a wide array of cigars. Probably smokes more often than I do. Um... YouTube, you've got Cigar Vixen and other female reviewers that are, are very popular on, on YouTube. So this is clearly not a, a men-only game, and uh, I'm glad it's not. I think this is something we should all be able to uh, to have a great time together with. And uh, to me, I'm, I'm a big fan of not separating out, like, the men over here and the women over here. You know, even in my own family, my wife, my daughters, my son, you know, we all fish, we all shoot, we all off-road, we all camp. You know, there was no like, okay, the women go do this and the men go do this. You know, I'm a big proponent of when couples and families get together, let's all do fun stuff together. So if that can be cigars as well, man, that's awesome. So, uh, but when you do think about the, the different roles in men and women in cigars, I all I can really think of is that maybe it goes back to marketing back in the 40s, 50s, 60s, um, probably heavily in the 50s, where... Uh, C cigarette was a man that was a big marketing push they were looking to make a lot of money on cigarettes and i think that but i think even back then they made it very you know the dad was smoking cigar cigarettes in this aspect and the mom was smoking like on a long wooden you know filter with a cigarette at the end and virginia slims and it seemed like the more petite feminine side of it and then the more masculine bold like you know like a big fat dark maduro long cigar for the men um so maybe that's where some of this legacy stuff comes from, that it was maybe it was just good old-fashioned marketing and making money. Um, so let's throw all that crap out the window, and let's just look at this like I would look at it, is uh, really a recommended recommendation for a, uh, someone's maybe wife or girlfriend for me would be just like it would be for a new cigar smoker, <clears throat> but maybe throwing in some options that maybe do go more towards the petite or feminine side of things. Maybe that Maybe that's a, an appeal. Um, I've heard comments like that that maybe women don't think that it, cigar smoking is, is very feminine and that maybe something like this hanging out of your mouth maybe that's true maybe it's not like I said I know a lot of women that smoke darker heavier cigars than I do so again there's there's no hard fast rule but again if we're going to just make a generalization maybe that's one we can go with the, let's go on the, the, the milder side of things if, if that makes sense so for my wife, I've tried to get her to, to smoke a few cigars in her life, and she's just not a fan. Uh, she's tried it, and she just doesn't find it appealing. She doesn't find it taste good. Um, but, but not just the flavor. She doesn't find it appealing. And I don't know if that's because of the size or the maybe the having the raw tobacco in your mouth is not appealing. I mean, whatever it is that makes it not appealing, it definitely doesn't make it's not appealing to her. Um, but... <clears throat> She did find something that is appealing to her, and that's these black and milds. So, you know, I'm sure you've all seen these at gas stations and whatever, um, which is where you can get them. It's like five or six bucks a box, and I think there's a couple advantages to these. One is, unlike a cigarette, these are actually made out of pipe tobacco, so they're very aromatic and they have a, a much different flavor. Um, the other thing is that they're not a, a big commitment time-wise. These are maybe 15, 20 minutes a piece to smoke. And again, like, you know, this is going to be an hour plus. That maybe to some people that's just a real turnoff. Um, the other thing, if you notice, there is, uh, on these are wooden and often they're plastic tipped, like almost like a filter. So you're not actually putting raw tobacco leaf in your mouth. And again, that could be off-putting to some people as well. So maybe that's part of this. So with all those things said, um, these are very appealing to a lot of people, and, and my wife loves these. So if we're out all together smoking a nice hour-long cigar on the patio, she'll go through one or two of these and be out there with us having a nice drink or you know a glass of wine, and we'll have some whiskey or some bourbon or whatever, 
and we all have a fantastic time doing it. So she's found her niche just like I found mine. If you want to start right into the cigars and you don't want to kind of maybe have the, the barrier of that plastic or wooden filtered tip on there, you, I would recommend maybe going with something like a, what they call a cigarello, which is basically just like a mini cigar. And for me, I would probably lean towards maybe recommending a, an infused flavored. I hate to say flavored because that, to me, a lot of times denotes that it's cheaply made, but infused um, cigarello like these acid C notes. Again, they're small. This is maybe 15 minute smoke. It's good infused flavor. Um, and it's a real cigar, so you're getting the actual tobacco on your mouth, and uh, this is just like moving into a real cigar, but it's the smaller version. And I think a big, a big plus on these is that it's a less time commitment. I think that's a problem for some people, is that you can't just hey, I'm gonna go have a smoke, uh, I'm gonna go have a smoke real quick. This is not like smoking a cigarette where you can crank it out in five minutes. If we're smoking a cigar, I mean, we're out here for an hour. Okay, so that's something maybe people aren't attracted to, and maybe someone who like your girlfriend or wife or someone really new to this wants to maybe come out, hang out for 15, 20 minutes and then, then move on to the next thing. This would be perfect for that. Um, so you'll see this little CAO um, flavor series. This is the smaller version. These are the little cigarellos. And again, these come and you'll see the different colored band. It denotes a different flavor profile. So you can go and you can, you can get packs of these that are all the same or you can get packs of these that even have all the different flavors involved so you can try different ones and see what you like. Um, they also make one uh, like this Moon Trance. This is, uh, this is a little just bigger version of a cigarella. This is just moving into like not quite a full-size cigar, but not quite a skinny little cigarella. So you're going to get a little more time out of this one. So this is leaning even more towards going to a full cigar. Uh, really the next step up from that is going to be a cigar that's, that's like a Robusto or lower in size. I would still probably recommend someone... To start with an infused cigar, I just, I'm a big fan. I think that it, it really eases you into it because if, if you're looking at someone like my wife who takes a hit off a cigar and instantly starts coughing and says, oh my God, that's horrible. Maybe if you get someone into like an infused cigar that has a little bit of a sweet flavor to it, that might, might be more appealing to them. What I would recommend maybe starting with um, is something like this uh, Drew Estate Isla del Sol. I like this cigar because of uh, a few reasons. It's less expensive. So you can get a box of these, I think a box of 20 of these is like 70 bucks, which is pretty good. Um, and how that they achieve that is this has got a mixture of long and short filler in it. So they use long filler leaves, but they also use, you know, the chopped up remnants to, you know, to use the short filler too. So they can save costs on these internally so that they can pass that on to the consumer. Um, so you're still getting, you know, if you're getting Drew Estate, it's great. So that's the key, is if you're getting a reputable brand, even if they're using a mixture of short and long filler, you know you're still getting a good cigar. This is not like like you hear about fake cigars where you cut them open and it's all sorts of weird stuff. No, this is legit stuff. It's just a less lesser price, which is great. Infused, and it also has a little bit of a sweet infusing on the uh, on the end of it there. So when it when you feel when it's in your mouth, it actually is a little bit of a sweet taste to it. So that could be appealing as well. Um, another good one if you want to go that route for a full cigar, but on the smaller, lighter side, this is a nice uh, acid uh, little blondie. These are really popular. Um, again, a torpedo shape. It's a nice draw. It's uh, sweet. It's infused. It's their blue series, as you'll see, like the Cuba Cuba. Um, fantastic little cigar. And this would be maybe a nice intro cigar as well. If you wanted to just go right into... Uh, straight cigar blends and what they what that means is that they're actually using a blend of tobaccos to make the flavoring versus an infusing of any kind of an external oil to make a flavor you would want to just stick with a good brand stick with something like a um, cohiba red dot these are fantastic it's not that big of a cigar um, these are always rated in the 90s construction's great i mean you, you can't cohiba you know that you've probably heard of the name anyway um, these are fantastic cigars, and this might be a nice entry level. Another entry one might be something uh, in the Nub series. So they've got everything from Connecticut, really light wrapper. This is a, more of the medium, and then to full Maduro, dark, heavy stuff. Now, these are small, but keep in mind these are also real um, fat. So uh, don't be deceived. This is going to be a longer smoke, even though it's a short cigar. I mean, even look at, compared to this, how much shorter it is. But look how much fatter it is. Okay, so you got to remember ring gauge makes a difference too 
but again none of these are like someone being handed this thing okay so I can get it maybe this will be like a little off-putting anyway hopefully that helps um, I would I really just if all else fails and you're gonna and, and none of this maybe 90 of this didn't percent of it didn't make make the grade for you maybe at least try this pipe tobacco wooden tip aromatic you maybe maybe this is the, the right way to go to start with and you know maybe ease into the rest down the road um, anyway I hope this helped um, like I said this was kind of a last minute thing it's something I hadn't even really thought of but it, I'm glad that my buddy uh, PV had emailed me because it really made me start to think about you know the the whole men and women and cigars and and uh, you know how's that all work it's kind of interesting to sit and kind of think about and figure out a little bit about it um, anyway hopefully this helped Eric over SoCal Cigars, uh, please subscribe, like, make comments, you know the gig. And get out there and have some fun and smoke some cigars and hang out with your buddies and get the wives and girlfriends involved too. That would be a great thing. We'll see you next time.